Hey there YouTube, Corn Cob Piper coming at you. Here's wishing everybody out there a very Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas Eve. Uh, going in a couple of hours to pick up the kids. Uh, we're gonna go drive around, look at some Christmas lights, uh, come back, have some eggnog, put the kids to sleep, and then, uh, you know, we gotta, we gotta play Santa and then go to bed ourselves. And we'll be up very, very early uh, tomorrow for Christmas. I know the kids are always excited and uh, they run out, they first crack a light that they see through their window. Um, so just, just wanted to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to come. Today is going to be a uh, tobacco review puffin um, Christmas blends. I do wanna give a big shout out to Wharf Valley Boy. Uh, Tim over in West Yorkshire, England, sent me a very, very wonderful uh, Christmas card. If you're watching this, Tim, I want to say to you personally, thank you, brother. I really appreciated the uh, sentiment. And for those of you who don't know about Tim's channel, uh, Wharf Valley Boy, I'll go ahead and post the link down below. Make sure to head on over there, check out his channel, and uh, you know, give him some likes. And if you haven't already, make sure to sub his channel as well. So for today's uh, review, this is going to be a, uh, a Cornell and Deal blend. This is a corn cob pipe with a button nose. Uh, this is a aromatic and it is topped with uh, what they say is chocolate, uh, cocoa and vanilla. Uh, it is a blend of a Burley, a Virginia and Black Cavendish. And uh, we'll go ahead, let me get the light turned on. We'll go ahead and take a look and see what this stuff looks like. All right, so hopefully you are getting a uh, good view of this. I'll try to bring it up here a little closer uh, to the lens. This is what Cornell and Deal calls a cube cut. This is all, all three of the tobaccos are cube cut. Uh, it's very, very granular. If you've ever smoked uh, Sir Walter Raleigh, uh, this has pretty much the same texture and feel to it as that. Kind of reminds me almost of like uh, grape nut cereal or uh, maybe some very, very coarse sand or something like that. But it is cube cut and the cubes are very, very small if you can see there. Uh, this does uh, cause some problems when packing and I don't, don't normally pack my pipe um, on camera for these reviews, but I'm gonna show you because uh, the first time I packed this, I used the uh, the three pack method, and it ended up not burning very well at all. I tried a couple other things, and what I found that works the best, because this tobacco, uh, the cubes are so small and dense, I find it best to just take the tobacco, uh, sprinkle it right on top, give it a little tap to level it out. Just go ahead and do one last top off and some taps. And then just lightly on the top, uh, like you would if you were doing the uh, three tamp or uh, three pack method, uh, just give it a, the same amount of pressure uh, that you would on that first pack. And then also when you are tamping this, uh, you want to make sure that you tamp it very, very gently as well. Otherwise, what uh, you'll get what I like to refer to is an ash dam or an ash bridge across the top, and it won't smoke correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to the uh, the tin note now. Um, it's been a while since I've taken a good whiff of this stuff. Basically, what you get hit with initially is semi-sweet chocolate, like uh, hot chocolate. You know, the chocolate you would use to make hot cocoa with. I do pick up some definite grass hay-like notes off the Virginia. Don't really get any scents, uh, scent from the Burley or the, uh, the Cavendish in here, the Black Cavendish. Definitely semi-sweet chocolate and hay grass-like notes is what I'm picking up off of the scent. Maybe, maybe just a smidgen of dark fruit somewhere in the background, probably either coming from the Burley or the Virginia. <coughs> Excuse me. This stuff does uh, smell quite delicious. Um, just a heads up, I am not the hugest fan of uh, chocolate aromatics, um, but uh, you know I have been smoking this quite quite a lot, uh, considering that it is chocolate. Um, but my, when I do my five star rating, that that might reflect a little bit into this. Um, but we'll go ahead and get lit up now. It's 
Smoking Mime Zero Meerschaum. Morgan Nose Warmer. Now I have not smoked this um, pipe or this tobacco in a briar pipe at all. So I can't tell you whether it would be better in a briar or a corn cob. But I feel because of the name and the picture of Frosty on the front, that really is fitting to smoke this from a from a corn cob. I can't, it's a little bit too dark in here. I can't read the tin description for you. You can check that out on uh, tobaccoreviews.com. Go ahead and get into the taste profile here. You know, this, is a, this isn't, I wouldn't call this heavily topped. I would call this definitely moderately topped. Somewhere in the middle. You can definitely taste the topping with every puff of this pipe uh, from the top all the way to the bottom. Uh, dryness level is perfect right out of the tin, does not require any dry time. Uh, burns pretty much uh, with very, very few lights. Uh, this is an aromatic, so you're going to end up with some dottle at the bottom of the bowl, but that is to be expected and it's no big deal. So we'll start off with uh, the topping. First and foremost, I get semi-sweet chocolate. So think like Nestle um, uh, chocolate chips or Hershey's Kisses, that type of deal. Um, I also pick up, you know, some definite cocoa in there as well. Uh, that subtle cocoa when you take the chocolate and you mix it with the milk and it changes the profile and the taste of the, the semi-sweet chocolate. You definitely pick that up. What I can best compare this to uh, taste-wise is a cup of hot chocolate. Now a lot of people say that from the vanilla they pick up uh, marshmallow so to them it tastes like uh, hot chocolate with marshmallow in it. I don't really get that. I do pick up the vanilla it is very distinct in there and I can taste that as well. Not quite as strong as the, the cocoa or chocolate, but definitely there. So those are the major components for me uh, in the, the toppings, uh, flavor-wise. Now for a blend of the two, what I do get in this from time to time are taste notes of Nutella. Nutella is that stuff that's made with hazelnut and like uh, cocoa. Uh, it's basically like a peanut butter, uh, but made from hazelnuts and with chocolate added into it. I'm sure many of you out there have had this stuff. It's great. If you haven't tried some, you definitely got to try it. I really love to eat this stuff on bananas. But I'm guessing that's a combination of the cocoa topping, uh, the uh, nuttiness from the burley and the grassy halite notes from the Virginia all blending together. And to me, uh, that reminds me of Nutella. Now it's not there with every puff for me, uh, but I do definitely pick it up from time to time and it is a, is it a, is a wonderful effect. I really do uh, enjoy those puffs that I take where I get that Nutella taste. For the tobacco, um, on the Cavendish, I don't pick up any of the honey that's normally associated with uh, Cavendish tobacco. I'm guessing probably because the vanilla topping is a little too strong and it's canceling out that vanilla flavor. I do pick up uh, the most, the biggest tobacco note that I pick up is from the Virginias and it's the, from the uh, bright Virgi or red Virginias, that grassy uh, hay-like note um, that I and many people out there uh, love about a great Virginia. There definitely is some bright Virginia in here as well because from time to time I get hit with a little tiny bit of uh, tartness or citrus. And I definitely pick up that, that classic uh, Cornell and Deal nuttiness from their Burley. Many of you have been watching my reviews for a long time know that my two favorite Burley uh, tobacco blenders are Cornell and Deal and 
LJ Peretti. They make, in my opinion, some of the finest Burley tobaccos out there. Not saying there aren't some other blenders that make some good stuff, but if you want to get into Burleys, uh, those two would be a good place to start, either Cornell and Deal or LJ Peretti. So this is, this is a very, very Christmassy blend to me. Probably one of the most Christmassy blends uh, that I've been smoking this, this Christmas season. I know I showed off a lot of tobaccos at the beginning uh, around Thanksgiving uh, that I was going to be smoking through the holiday season. I have been smoking them. Uh, just been um, not really super busy, uh, but just really spending time with the family, enjoying the holidays. So I really haven't put out too many videos or reviews of those tobaccos. But over time, we, we will get to them. And we still have, you know, at least another week before the holiday season ends. So maybe I'll get another one or two reviewed before then. We'll have to see. But overall, a, a pretty decent uh, holiday blend. Um, just, just for the fact that I'm not a huge fan of chocolate aromatics. Uh, probably will not be picking this one up again. I've gone through about half the tin now. Probably gonna go ahead and make this my last bowl of it. I will be saving the other half for next Christmas. Uh, once the other half of the tin is gone, probably will not pick this up again. Uh, does not really reflect much on the tobacco, which you'll see by my review. It's more so a personal thing where I'm just uh, not the hugest fan of chocolate aromatics. But I'm gonna go ahead and give Cornell and Deal's Corn Cob Pipe with a Button Nose a three out of five stars um, and if I were someone that was huge and you know very big into chocolate aromatics that number would definitely probably get bumped up to like a 3.5 or even a 4 that's just a personal thing for me so we'll call the corn cob piper um, five, star, 5 star rating a 3 but we'll call the overall generic rating on this we'll call it a 3.5 and I'm basing that off of the fact that if I were to like chocolate uh, aromatics, I would definitely give this a 3.5. So overall, not too bad. Uh, like I said, I have smoked half a tin out of it. I have enjoyed um, what I've smoked. It's just, you know, not so spectacular to me based on the fact that there's a lot of chocolate in here. So 3.5 out of 5 stars for Corn Cob Pipe with a Button Nose by Cornell and Deal. Once again, uh, Merry Christmas to everybody out there. I hope you have a great day tomorrow with your friends or families, whatever you're doing for Christmas. As always, YouTube, keep on piping. <laughs>